Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. In this session, we are going to discuss how we can synchronize execution lists with the test cases. But first, let's understand why do we even need to synchronize this execution list with the test cases. So, whenever you make any changes to your test cases, some of the changes are automatically synchronized with the execution list. But some of the things are not synchronized automatically by Tosca and you need to synchronize them manually. But first, let's discuss what is synchronized automatically. Okay. So any changes which you make directly to the test case, whether you are changing any particular test step or you are changing any value here or if even if you are changing uh, the name of the test case, all these changes are synchronized automatically in your execution list. So, for example, if I change the name of this test case now, okay, to execute order, you will see that the name is automatically changed in the execution list as well. So, the changes are getting synchronized automatically here. But some of the changes, like if I uh, rename some of the test case folder, or if I move the test case to another folder, so these changes are not automatically reflected in the execution list. So for example, if now I move this test case to this particular new folder, which is web shop from the demo web shop, okay? And if I look back at my execution list, you will see that execute order is still under the demo web shop folder. It has not been moved to the other folder like we have done for uh, the web shop, right? So if now I synchronize this, okay? So you will see that the test case is gone. So that is how you can synchronize your execution list with your test cases changes. So you have to right click on the execution list and then click on synchronize. Okay, so it will automatically synchronize all the changes which you have made like here. So now uh, the test case folder demo web shop does not have that particular test case, right? And that's what is being reflected here. It has been moved to the other folder. Okay. Or um, if I am going to put this back into the demo web shop now, okay. And now let's go back and synchronize it again to see the change. Okay, so it's still there. Also, some of the changes, like uh, if I rename this folder from demo web shop to demo shop, you will see that in the execution list, that folder has not changed, right? So it is still demo web shop. This is the test case folder, which is it is referring to. So it is still demo web shop, not demo shop. And if now I go ahead and synchronize this, you will see it has changed to demo shop. Okay. Similarly, if I add a new test case here under demo shop. Okay. So that particular new test case, which is present in our test case folder is not automatically displayed under the execution list. Okay. You need to synchronize whenever you are adding new test cases to your test cases folder. So right click here again and do synchronize and you will see the new test case now appears here. Okay. So all these changes are required if you have already created an execution list for your test case and then you are making those changes inside your test cases. Okay. It is not required if you are still developing or if you have completely finished your test cases development and then you are creating an execution list. So if you don't make any changes like adding new test cases, removing the test cases from the folder or renaming the folders, if you don't make these kind of changes, then the synchronization is not required because all the remaining changes, what you make in the test case would be synchronized automatically. So you don't need to go and manually synchronize. It is only required in these three scenarios. When you change the folder names, when you remove the folders, or if you 
add more test cases to the test case folders so in all of these scenarios you need to synchronize your execution list with your test case that's all for this particular video if you have any questions then please leave it in the comments if you like this video then please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video